22nd or 23rd, the rapture has come and gone, so I guess we're going to be okay. So I decided to continue with workouts and triathlon training. Um, yesterday was an intense day. It was my long day. It was about a four-hour workout. Today was a recovery day, and for this I was to run into cycle, but it's raining outside. So I'm in the garage for the first time since I've received my Blackburn Tech Mag 6 trainer. So I had a Blackburn Ultra, which was a trainer that used a centrifugal clutch, and that stopped working, basically, thankfully, after my Rome training, my Rome marathon training, because time on the bike in the winter played a big role in my recoveries during my run training. That being said, when it rains, I prefer not to miss a workout, so I really wanted a trainer, so I was able to get warranty service, and they sent me this. So I have my Cervelo P2 set up in the trainer. My objective today is a zone 2 workout, which for me is uh, 125 beats per minute or so for about an hour. I already ran today. I can run in the rain, and of course I can cycle in the rain. This is not that comfortable. Yesterday was 27 degrees Celsius. Today was 4. So, this trainer New cleats, they don't clip in that well. This trainer has a thingy that attaches to the front, and it has six resistance settings. So, what I'm interested in knowing is can I at least do my recovery workouts? So, what I have it set to right now is three. I have it set on the small ring on the front, and about the middle on the back. And so as I'm pedaling along, my heart rate is rising. It feels really smooth. I don't have a problem with how it feels. I'm used to my Blackburn Ultra, which uh, would provide varying resistance. You'd be pedaling really hard doing a nice set, and suddenly it would either jam on or let go. One of the big things I'm concerned about is the noise level, because I'd like to use this in the winter in the basement of my house. And I'm concerned about waking up Alex or Tanya. I'm in the basement, there's a main floor and upstairs, and they sleep upstairs. So right now my cadence is 90. My heart rate is about 120. So this is right where I want to be. It feels fine. I have no problems with this. And the noise level, it probably sounds really noisy because it's echoing here in the garage. But I think that this noise level will be okay for my purposes. One of the things that I do is I climb, or get out of the saddle one minute out of every ten, to make sure that I don't go numb down below. What I'd like to do is not have to fiddle around with the wheel a lot to do this, so let's try this. I'm going to shift into a smaller gear on the back, and do a bit of a climb. So there we go, and now I would climb. Really, I would climb for about a hundred, which is about a minute. This feels fine. I don't have any problem with this. I climb nice and slowly because remember, today is a recovery ride. And it feels fine. I'm going to go back into the cell, shift into my gear, and continue on with my workout. So, yeah, sound is okay, feel is okay. I'll report back to you about whether resistance changes as the thing warms up. I'm also wondering how I would be able to find the correct setting to bring my heart rate up to, say, 150 at a cadence of 90. So I'm just going to play with that now. Staying in the small ring up front, I'm at 90 RPM. I'm a bit cross chain, so I'm going to go to the big ring in front. Again, I'm interested in holding 90. And this is about the resistance that I think I'll need to sustain at least 10 minutes at 155, which is pretty zone 4-ish on the bike. 
So noise level is a bit louder. Um, I bet you by tweaking around with this wheel and the different gear selections, I can cause the magnetic resistance unit to turn less fast, <laughs> but still provide the same resistance. So I think this probably represents the worst case scenario for the noise, and I think it's still okay. Okay. Another thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is heat. In the winter I use a trainer tire, which is no problem at all. In the summer, not so much, because it's just hard to switch tires all the time. Like, I don't know, I prefer to be on the road, right? For example, today what I have had to switch tires to do a, a workout on the trainer. I went so far as to looking to buy another wheel, but that's a couple hundred dollars and I prefer to avoid that. So right now I'm using my Verdestine Forteza SEs. They're a pretty standard, um, not very expensive road tire. And they feel warm after that just a few minutes. So the resistance unit flywheel is cool. The resistance unit um, turner thingy, the thing that the wheel touches, is a little bit warm. And the magnetic unit on the side of it is quite warm. So, I guess I'll report back to you after this workout, which will be a recovery workout, and we'll see how it turns out. <laughs>